And now to our exclusive interview with the woman at the center of a cultural firestorm in this country over these last days, Rachel Dolezal, the NAACP chapter leader accused of lying about her race. Today, we asked her whether she has been deceptive and just why there are so many questions now surfacing about her past. Let me just ask you plainly, have you ever lied about your race? No, because never have I been asked, are you human or not human, right? So, so yeah, those words race, like race in a, in a, as a construct, again, as a fluid understanding. So I would say no. You know when someone asks you, are you black? Are you African American? You know exactly what they're asking you. And for you to say yes, is that an honest answer? When somebody asks, are you black, which I actually don't get asked very often, um, until recently, since a few days ago, then I say, yeah, I, I do, you know, I, I am black. Do you understand um, why many people would think, given your parents and your heritage, that is at best a misleading answer? Um, I, I can understand that, but again, up to this point, I know who raised me. I haven't had a DNA test. There's been no biological proof that Larry and Ann are my biological parents. There's a birth certificate that has your name on it and their names on it. I'm not necessarily saying that, that I can't prove they're not, but I don't know that I can actually prove they are. I mean, the birth certificate is issued a month and a half after I'm born. Um, it certainly, um, there are no medical witnesses to my birth. It's one thing to embrace the questions as an academic matter. Right. It's another thing to just actually be honest and transparent about who you are. Right. Well, I definitely am not white. I, I, nothing about being white describes who I am. So what's the word for it? You know, I mean, I, the closest thing that I can d come to is if, if you're black or white, I'm black. I'm more black than I am white. Have you changed your physical appearance? <laughs> um, yeah, well, definitely. I've. I've experimented with my hair since living in Mississippi, really, um, and, and um, doing hair on, on the porch, you know, braiding. Have you changed your skin color? Uh, some of those, well, I don't know necessarily my skin color has changed. It depends on the, the season, right? So um, I have not taken any melanin shots or any of the, like, the black like me, you know, the some of the, um, previous exper experiments with transforming into um, a darker skinned person. I haven't had surgeries or anything like that. Some days, if you know, I might if I have spray, you know, like bronzer or whatever, get like glow. But other days I don't. And I think even the word disguise has been put out there, and all that kind of. And it just sounds very like intentional and deceitful and structured and. Um, I just want to feel beautiful. <laughs> and this is how I feel beautiful. Do you feel like a little bit under siege by all of this? Oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. But I've really tried to kind of check that a bit and try to be present for my kids, my sister, and the movement and really see what's best for that right now and make strategic decisions for that. But I am going to need to do a little regrouping. Um, and be able to really process all the implications now as I move forward. One other note, Dolezal's 13-year-old son, Franklin, was watching our interview today and afterward asked to say something about his mother. I've always felt the maximum proud of her. No matter what she does, I'm going to be proud of her. I always felt like she deserved more. She deserved to be worldwidely known, but not like this not as a liar or deceiver. She should be known as a hero, a person that has done so much. We have put an extended version of our interview with Rachel Dolezal on our web. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.